Hi, in this tutorial, I will take you through the steps needed in order to deploy softwares or MSI packages, Windows uninstaller packages using a group policy or GPO. So we are using a GPO and it has a lot of benefits such as restriction, which is can be applied in order to uninstall or removal of a software uh, with uh, better security. Uh, users outside the group cannot access software without permission. Uh, quick and remote way to deploy securely. Uh, once a group is created, software can be delivered uh, easily. So here in this tutorial, I'm going to use my Windows server to download some MSI packages. Uh, then I'm going to create a GPO in my um, domain. And finally, I'm going to test with a client uh, workstation. So from Server Manager, the first step in this tutorial, I want to create a security group. So from Tools, I want to select Active Directory Users and Computers. Then I want to go ahead and uh, from the left side, select your domain. Then you will see Users. So click on right click on users and select new then uh, find a group and uh, click on group so here the group that I want to create I want to create is uh, global uh, this is the scope and the group type is security for the name uh, I'm going to type in software um, deployment okay so this is my group name I'm going to click on OK so here I see the uh, security group I just created I'm going to right click this security group properties here I see the properties window and in the members tab okay so in the security group I want to add uh, the computers or the clients workstation in my enterprise or the company environment where I want to deploy softwares okay so I'm going to click on add and then here I want to search or type in the name of my uh, workstation in my company right so I do have a serve uh, PC one that I wanted to add let me check the name and before uh, writing down the name it's good to actually uh, type in on object types and select uh, computer computer since it's not uh, selected by default and I click on OK now check back and yes it's selected so click on OK now the first client workstation I have in this uh, security group if I want to go ahead and type in another um, workstation and let me check yes is there so these are some of the samples obviously you want to add your uh, computers so click on apply and click on OK so now I have security group close the server manager so now I want to show you the MSI packages that I have for this tutorial so in my documents I have a folder that I created called software you can name it anything you want and inside this uh, folders I do have two MSI files and this MSI file I'm going to use MSI is Windows and installer packages so in this tutorial I'm demonstrating how to deploy Firefox which is a browser and uh, Microsoft team which is used for video conferences and I'm going to leave in the uh, description of this video the link to download this MSI and also the instructions on how to download MSI packages okay so I have these two packages that I download from the official website of Firefox company and Microsoft and I put them in this uh, folder and the next step in order to deploy with the group policy we want to share this folder so properties and the sharing tab click on advanced sharing 
and here you see this option uh, select the share this folder and it will ask you for to share this folder you can you have options to put dollar sign at the end of the file name to make it hidden from the network so it's gonna it's going to be it's going to hide this uh, uh, network uh, folder I'm going I'm just going to leave it like this and I'm going to click on permissions for mission for the share uh, set for everyone I'm going to remove this I'm going to click on add and instead I'm going to select authenticated users so check names and I see the first option it's authenticated users I'm going to click on OK and I'm going to give full control for authenticated users so I'm going to click on apply OK so we set the permission for the shell folder click on apply OK and here you see the network path for the, this uh, folder that contains the MSI packages. Now you have the security tab, it's set for administrator, full control. I can add my um, the security group that I created, which is called software deployment. I'm going to check the name, yes and yes it's there so this is the software the group policy that i have and i'm going to click on apply and okay so i'm going to close this yes so now the folder that contained the msi packages is already shared i'm going to close this so next i want to go back to the server uh, manager and from tools select group policy management now this is the group policy management window and I want to select my domain and this is the domain name so from the left side in the group policy management I'm going to so, uh, click uh, right click and I'm going to click on create a GPO a group policy object in this domain I link it here so I'm going to click on this and here I'm going to type in the name of the group policy so I'm just going to name it software this is up, up, up to you so I'm going to call it a uh, software underscore deployment so this is the group policy I want uh, the group policy name I'm going to click on OK so the group policy created now under my no domain I'm going to right click and I'm going to click on edit this group uh, policy so we want to edit and we see here the editor the group policy management editor and I want to edit in order uh, to um, now I want to point to the share uh, network path or the share folder with the MSI packages so in computer configuration uh, we do have policies so you do have two options actually from the left side uh, under computer configuration if you uh, expand policies you see software setting and also on user configuration if you expand policies you see software conf uh, setting but uh, easier it's to make it computer configuration for faster deployment and control so under policy expand policies select software setting and expand then select software and installation now you see this empty no item to, to show in this area so right click call it select new packages now here you want to point to your um, network path or the share folder so uh, backslash backslash uh, the DC server this is the name of my uh, server my domain controller uh, backslash uh, software and yes these are the two MSI packages I'm going to select these two ones and I'm going to click on open I'll select uh, the deployment method it's assigned click on OK So the next one, yes, also assigned. And you will see it showing up 
and this uh, for with the Firefox. Now we see the two MSI packages. Okay. Now I want to uh, click on the first one. Right click uh, properties. You have some options here for this uh, deployment. Uh, I want to go. You can rename this package. I want to go to deployment tab, and I want to select and uninstall the and uninstall this application when it's fall out of the scope of management. I'm going to click on apply and this basically means that the software the Firefox software will be removed from the client machine once the group policy will be updated and this the group policy will be removed from the uh, group policy management so I'll click on OK the same thing with this one I want to click on properties deployment tab and uninstall apply OK so these are the two uh, packages that we are going to test with. So at this point, I'm done with the group policy management editor. We selected the MSI packages. So all we go, all we going to do now is to close this editor. We are back to the group policy management. Uh, next, I want to select the group policy that I created. And here is you, if you see security filters, if you see here the following side domain and organizational unit are linked to this group policy, which is my domain, and it's fine. And the security filter authenticated user, I want to remove this. And basically it says here the setting in this group policy are only applied to the following groups, users and computers. So if you remember, in the beginning we created a security group so we are I want to add the security group that contains my computers in this uh, security filtering so I'm going to click on add now I'm going to search let me type in the name of the security group that I created in my active directory so the name was software uh, dash uh, deployment let me check the name if it's correct. I think yes, it's correct. It's highlighted by um, the search. So I'm going to click on OK. And yes, here I see the security group, the global security group that I created with my computers on it and the users in the Active Directory. So this will allow all the users in the Active Directory in my domain controller to be to have these two packages deployed to these clients in my enterprise environment okay so this is PC1 if you remember in the security group that we created in our active directory we uh, we added the uh, we added PC1 this is one of the workstation in my environment and I'm going to log in and with Kevin he's a user uh, that inside the active directory you can uh, login with any user that you have um, so this is PC one which is Windows 10 client machine so this is for testing now I'm going to log in once I'm inside I want to go for uh, search I'm going to search for CMD which is command prompt for Windows 10 now in here I'm going to uh, update the group policy for this workstation by typing command GP update space I'm going to force this by typing force and hit enter so this will give you a message in less than a minute asking you to restart your computer so now I'm going to wait for this message and now it says OK to restart uh, type in Y and hit enter so now it says close and this uh, workstation will uh, reboot and the reboot will uh, be uh, essential in order to apply the changes in the group policy okay so I'm here let me log in into Kevin machine type in the password hit enter And yes, perfect. So I see the Microsoft team deployed and Firefox uh, browser deployed 
into my client Windows 10 machine uh, from my Windows Server 2019 um, uh, site. So yes, that's perfect. And uh, if you want to double check, you can type in control uh, panel and let's go ahead and check programs and programs and features and we see here the teams microsoft teams and firefox both of them on my client client workstation so if you want to go ahead and delete uh, these uh, MSI packages all you can do is delete the group policy from your server and uh, go back to your client machine and update the group policy by GP update force and this will delete uh, the software from your uh, uh, enterprise client workstation in your company and uh, that's it for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching talk to you next time Bye.